So it's mid-March here on the small holding. It's a lovely spring day. Summer is just around the corner and temperatures are rising, um, which is generally good uh, unless you're a chicken because with these rises in temperature comes the dreaded red mite. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we deal with it and how we stop it. So here's the problem. Let's look at this coop. This is the DIY poultry coop that we built last summer. There's a video on the channel of how we did it. Um, and let's just show you what happens with these red mites. So no matter how clean a coop is, and this one's cleaned uh, every few days and it's poo picked every day. No matter how clean a coop is, red mite are going to hide in these gaps. They hide in there during the day. Let's just home in there. There'll be some in there. There'll be some in all of these little crevices and all these little cracks. And that's where they hide during the day. But at night, they come out and they make their way along these perches to where the birds are roosting and they feed on the birds overnight. And then in the morning, when it starts to get light, they'll make their way back into these little crevices. And that's where they'll spend the day. So what we have to do is stop the red mites getting from the, these little crevices and their little hidey holes to the birds at night. And this is how we do it. And what we do is we use this. It's double-sided sticky tape. This is um, carpet tape. Um, it's relatively cheap. We got this from uh, one of those pound stores for a pound. Um, so I bought five or six rolls of it. And the idea is that we use the double-sided sticky tape on the ends of the perches so that when the red mites make their way out of those little crevices and hidey holes onto the perch to get to the birds at night, they get stuck on here. Uh, and then uh, the following morning we take the double-sided sticky tape off and we destroy it. We burn it, um, I use a blowtorch on it, uh, and we kill those red mites. And then we replace it the next night, um, more red mites come and get stuck on the tape, uh, and so on and so forth, until um, after four or five days in our experience, there are uh, very few, if any, red mites left. Now this is also good for um, telling if you've got red mites uh, infestation in the first place. So if you were to put it on now, for instance, uh, and have a look at it every couple of days as the weather gets warmer, you'll see if you've got red mites in the coop. And if you have, then uh, obviously keep putting it on. But if not, um, it'll give you um, uh, a, a, a bit of a, a sort of sense of well-being knowing that you haven't got red mite in your coop. So not only is it uh, for stopping them, but it's a detector as well. I'm going to go and put some on the perch now uh, and, um, and I'll show you the result. No worries, not for you. And now we're going to put this on the ends of the perches. all the way around so that it goes underneath the perch as well and it completely covers the perch and there are no gaps underneath it. That's that one done. Now we're going to do the rest of the perches and I'll show you the final result. So that's us finished there. We've got um, double-sided sticky tape on the ends of all of these perches. And the important thing is that you basically cut off the route that the mites are going to take from these crevices to the birds who are roosting on these perches. So wherever the perches touch the edges of the coop and provide that route for the red mites, you need to put 
your double sided sticky tape on. Um, some people are worried about the, um, the, the chicken's feet sticking to the, um, the double sided sticky tape. What I do is I put them right at the end, make sure they're right at the end. And then um, because of the size of the birds, they can't physically get that close to the, uh, to the corners of the coops. Uh, and their feet um, can't touch it. Occasionally, um, if they do, uh, it, it isn't going to cause uh, an issue for them anyway. Um, and that's all there is to it. So you leave the, uh, the tape on overnight. The next morning, if you do have an infestation, you take it off. And as we said before, um, you can burn it uh, or destroy it in, in any way, uh, way, the way that you can. I can't actually show you the results this year of how it works but we had a, a, a red mite problem in this coop last year uh, and um, I used the sticky tape method and I'll show you a couple of photographs now uh, as to as to how it went so this first photograph is uh, on the first morning after I used the tape so that was after the first morning this is on morning three so the, uh, sorry, morning four, so the tape had been on for three nights now. And finally, after using this method for six nights, so on day seven, this was the result. So that's it. It really is as simple as that. The, the double-sided sticky tape method works for us. We were using it on all of our coops um, and we rarely have uh, a, a red mite problem for long. As soon as I do discover that we've got them, we adopt this method and then after five or six days, it's all gone. Um, you do have to use a joint approach in my opinion as well. Um, we do have uh, red mite spray, the pink stuff. We get it from a local um, farmer's store uh, and I do spray some of the uh, crevices and those little hidey holes with that spray um, but I don't like using it too much so using a combination of a spray maybe a couple of times a week or if I do see where they're hiding um, and also the double sided sticky tape method um, we've been pretty uh, free of red right now for uh, the last two years so um, please feel free to, uh, to adopt that method um, and let me know how you get on thanks very much for watching